got head low and say suck my dick What's gonna happen when we been through the G? Top pull up, we ain't shooting from deep Stop talking on me and my team Cause my niggas be really getting breathe She can pop rock up in my split Call her dead, suck my dick I'm talking so I tuck my group before I start this video, y'all gonna probably wonder why I sound like this. It's because I'm sick, I got a cold, no I don't got no fucking COVID. Whatever the fuck you wanna call that shit, but anyway. This video is gonna be kind of more showing you the evolution danger that comes along with making a diss song starting from 2011 all the way up till now. Now prior to the drill scene, you didn't have a whole lot of street beefs going into rap like you do now. Don't get me wrong, it was still there, but you didn't have it like it is now. You didn't have all these diss songs coming out the ass and all these niggas dying because of what they're saying in the tracks. I'm not saying it was easy to be a rapper then, but what I'm saying is the politics of the streets tended to stay in the streets back then and less into rap. You had more rap beef, which were just rappers who just didn't like each other type shit or rappers who try to take credit for other rappers' careers instead of rappers actually wanted each other dead. Y'all know when the drill scene came out that everything changed, you know what I'm saying? Politics definitely became a part of rap. Streets definitely became a part of rap. But the one thing that really changed all of this was in 2012 when Lil Jojo dropped BDK. These niggas claim 300, but we BDK. And everybody knows the war that that song alone caused. You know what I'm saying? So everybody knows the damage that that caused did to the city of Chicago. And they, we all know what happened in Lil Jojo. So we don't got to get into that. But this was really the start of where this became a trend. As a side note, the only instance that I can ever remember where something happened similar to this before 2010 was with Lucy Badass. When he was playing with Lucy Badass's name. But I don't remember... And I don't even really know exactly what all entailed, so it could have been some other shit behind it. That's the only time I could think of this shit really happening before. Now, back then, again, there wasn't even a whole lot of diss songs pumping out at the time. I mean, there was, but you know what I'm saying? There wasn't a whole lot of bodies dropping behind them at this time yet. That didn't start again really up until the mark in 2014. And we all know what happened to Lil Mark, okay? The nigga dissed everybody. I believe it was a few weeks after. It might have been a few days. I can't remember. But we all know what happened with Lil Mark. And in 2015, you had KTS Vaughn, who I personally believe died because of his street reputation and his alleged three to four bodies that he had. KTS Vaughn started the trend of wearing a shirt that said, fuck all your dead homies on it. And I don't think the song was this song. It was still out there. And lastly, before I move on, you gotta remember with niggas like KTS Vaughn, those type of niggas, those are not rappers. Those are street niggas that make a song or that make music. And that's actually gonna bring us into our next story to the DMV. The body of 19 year old Christopher Smith was found around 2.30 below the I-64 eastbound Shaco Valley Bridge. Now, I don't care what your disrespect level is, nigga, there's nothing more disrespectful than what he did. Unfortunately for OG Man Man, he died about three months after that. I mean, you can say he clearly brought it upon himself, but no other rapper has gone to that length of disrespect so far. They've all gone to disrespectful ass lyrics, but video-wise, nothing's gotten that disrespectful before. You know what I'm saying? There's been a few other rappers like FYB who've gone to graveyards and... You know, started saying fuck dead graves, but I'm not sure if that was the right graveyard or not. It could have been. You know what I'm saying? If so, that's really disrespectful. But still, you're not spending a lot of time there like he did. He had to put that fire out at that graveyard. That's a fire at a graveyard. How often do you even see that? So you got to understand what OG Man Man did here. He stapled disrespect right here. And it's still, to this day, known as the most disrespectful song out. And, you know, I'm trying to make this video short, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get super deep in everything. And at the end, I'm going to give y'all my standpoint on where I stand on all of this. But the next story we got to get into is the story of Shooter Shells. Now, Shooter Shells blew up in 2017 from a song called Death 150, which is a shot at the 150 Dream Team by... G Herbo. I mean, this song he made was good as fuck, and it was also disrespectful as shit. And within doing so, people thought he was gonna die quick. And he, when he didn't die in, right away, a lot of people was like, oh, well, ain't shit gonna happen to him. Three, four months go by, July 2017. This nigga got shot, like, I think it was 30, 
one time, and it was like 17 of those shots was in the head. And then there's pictures of his body. Oh no, if you want to see it, just go look and shoot the shells. They disrespected the fuck out of him. So the way I look at that is the way they did him, the way they disrespected him in broad daylight like that with 31 bullets. Nigga, that shit easily equaled out the song and it made what you did completely pointless. But enough on that situation. Now we're going to go on to 2018 into a case where the nigga didn't die, but he got shot in the head. And y'all know who's that, who the fuck I'm finna talk about, and that is MPG Wooski. I'm so BDK, CPDK, and TYMBK. Boy, fuck old block, bitch. We from Street K and we Prince CDK. Now, Wooski is just like Kim T.S. Vaughn in a way, you know, he's allegedly shot at a lot of people, he's allegedly got four or five bodies on him, and he wasn't really a rapper, so when he made a diss song, and he made a good one, it blew up, with, with his computers remix, which was just like five minutes of disrespect, and in that computers remix, he dissed about every single dead op that he has, if not every single one of them, and probably a lot of them that are still alive. So you can see why a lot of people hated Wooski at the time. A lot of people started to think well, shit wasn't going to happen to Wooski either because it took 10 months for something to happen to him. But what happened was he got shot in the head at a funeral for his dead partner, Dooski. He did survive, you know what I'm saying? He did recover, but since then, he hasn't really been on social media like that. I mean, you could say Wooski's a bitch because, oh, what, you got shot and won't bounce back this niggas no more? And nah, nigga just learned his lesson. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the streets is a lesson. But what I'm trying to get across with this video is that dissing has a good chance to backfire when you actually go to the great lengths to show how disrespectful you're trying to be. When you actually want to be disrespectful, and that's a real life op that you dissing, this shit doesn't always work out in your favor. The streets ain't fair, so don't think that you are untouchable because these niggas are untouchable. The streets don't play fair. Just because they play to their favor, it doesn't mean it's going to play to yours. You feel me? We got to leave shit in the streets the way it's supposed to be. The gangster way to leave that shit in the streets, not take it to some damn booth. Make it federal and make it hot so everybody knows who's beefing with who and everything like that. Keep it in the streets and stop taking it to the booth. If you like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and peace. More than a homie, it was my bro. More of the story, I miss you, bro. More of the story, I love you, bro. More of the story, we toting the poles, we toting the beans, we toting the gas, we knock you hot, the ops, we got these niggas is goofy, these niggas is envy. All of my brother, the peace, I miss you, dog.